Hello my friends, my name is Godleg, welcome to my synced review video. The game is currently in open beta until the 15th of January 2023 and I managed to get to max level on day 2. So I want to share with you guys my opinions about the game and to let you know what you're getting yourself into. Alright, with all of that out of the way, if this video helped you out in any way, please leave a like, subscribe and smash that notification bell to please those algorithm lords. I stream pretty much every single day on Twitch. If you want to ask me anything or just watch the madness that unfolds, link will be down in the description. Okay, let's get started. I will timestamp the different sections of the video to make it easier for you guys because we have lots to talk about. But first, what is Synced? Synced is a match-based rogue looter shooter developed by Next Studios. In a techno-apocalyptic future, you are a runner who joins the war with deadly techno-creatures called Nanos inside the sealed exclusion zone known as the Meridian. Choose your runner and team up in PvE and PvP matches, defeat the Nanos, and even tame and weaponize them against your enemies. Tame and synchronize these nanos into different companion classes you can deploy in combat. Strengthen your squad, upgrade your weapons, earn your place among the best of the runners, and win the fight that humanity started. Pretty awesome, right? Alright, so that is basically the gist of it, right? Now, I want to get into each and every aspect of the game and let you know what it's all about. Cool, let's do it. Alright, so you have a couple of runners to choose from. Starting with Dead Cut, he is the one that you begin the game with and uh, is your first, first, very first option. Um, he specializes in fire grenades, like he throws around uh, fire grenades. He, the last bullet of his magazine deals fire damage. Um, and also when on fire, your movement speed is increased. And uh, the fire affliction, in other words, if somebody puts you on fire, that duration is shortened. Okay, so he's the, the pyromaniac of the group. Glory, on the other hand, um, she throws a smoke bomb. And uh, her perks are really, really amazing for sniper players, which makes her like one of the best classes in PvP right now. Uh, she highlights rival runners through sniper rifle scopes, and she also sees through smoke, which also synergizes really well with her smoke bomb, right? Um, and also, it increase, uh, you increase nano weak point damage, and uh, shooting runners will also tag them for your team. So it's, uh, it's a really, really amazing uh, PvP class that. Uh, was personally one of my favorites uh, while I was leveling up. Then we have a Dr. Stone, the very hip medic of the of the group, right? Uh, Healer's Aura is his ability. He heals and automatically revives teammates inside his healing radius. Basically, he drops a little drone, um, makes a very, very big... Uh, for the enemies, is red and for you, it's like green. Uh, aura all around you. So if you sit in it, it heals you and it also can revive you. It is a very uh, easily spotable ability though and people will be definitely pushing you and looking to kill you while you do that. But at least you can automatically revive teammates. It's very, very useful. Uh, his perk combat medic, use medkits and revive teammates faster. Um, medical marvel, recover more health when using medkits and reviving teammates. So basically he is the medic of the group. Uh, absolutely vital part of any team. He's, uh, he's a really cool character in both PvE and PvP. Okay, moving on. We have Ragna, or Rania, actually, I think they call her. Uh, she's the character that you unlock on the second day of uh, playing the game. Um, she becomes available to you from, from the shop with your daily reward. Um, she's a really, really cool character as well. Currently, I think she's my favorite in PvP. Um, okay, Radiant Eye. So your, your, your activatable ability. Nearby teammates can detect enemies, as well as yourself, of course. And also you leech health from uh, stunned nanos. Um, so obviously it gives you like a little wall hack essentially. And it, you mark enemies all around you or sort of where you're looking, you know. It's very, very useful ability, very good for when you want to push enemies, etc. in PvP, right? 
Uh, her perks, Death, Defire, Recover Health when killing Prime Nano's all rival runners. That is, of course, amazing. You regen health instead of having to uh, uh, medkit. You can just, you know, chain kills and regen a little bit at a time. It's very, very useful. And, of course, Six Sense, uh, Detect Rival Runners at Close Range. So, this is uh, if Glory is your PvP sniper character, then I would say Rania is the close range push um, character, right? She's really good at being close to enemies, pushing, you down somebody, you regen health. It's very, very useful. Okay, so she's currently my favorite and uh, Glory will be, I guess, my second favorite. Last but not least, Park. Uh, his ability called Chain Bomb. A bomb that chain strikes between multiple enemies and bloody bullets is one of his perks. Generate ammo from weak point and uh, chain bomb kills. And steady hand um, gradually reduces recoil during continuous LMG fire. So the way to unlock Park is I believe on the fifth day of playing the game you unlock him from the shop with uh, daily rewards. Um, my personal opinion right now, at least in PvP, LMGs are not very good. So I don't think Park is going to be an amazing character, but uh, I could be wrong. We'll see when he comes out, right? Uh, this is the second day of, of recording, so or the second day of the game being live in the beta. So I, I, I don't have my hands on him yet. I haven't tested him. He might be very good. Who knows? But uh, yeah, for now, I would say uh, um, my top one is Rania, followed by Glory, followed by uh, Dr. Stone, and then last, Dead Cut. That's my tier list, if you will right those are the characters of the game right now um that we have in the beta so yeah all right all right so let's have a look at your trusty companions you would need one of those with you in pve or pvp right essentially when you kill one of the powerful enemies you can sync with them and then uh they become your friend for the duration of the match um you can pre-select which one you go with also in game, you can change them uh, to have multiple ones, but you would have to sync to each and every one of them if you want to change. Okay, uh, so you have four different ones right now in the beta. I mean, obviously they might add more later on, but for now that's what we have. We have Crusher, Suppressor, Guardian, and Seer. Okay, Crusher is actually amazing in PvP. Uh, basically, a lot of people send them out and they just hunt players and they do a stupid amount of damage. They're extremely powerful and you can buff them as well with mods. Um, okay, let's have a look at the attributes of the Crusher. Nano Arm, increased movement and melee sp uh, attack speed. So that Nano Arm um, ability, all of, all of them have it, right? That is the ability that they give to you while they're on your arm. So you can send them out or you can keep them on your arm okay if you keep them on your arm then you get the nano arm ability and then once you deploy them uh, the, the crusher will guard the position and also you can lock them on to enemies and they could just they basically just run it at enemies head on and they will just attack at close range okay very useful very very strong in pvp uh in pve i mean he he also uh, you know fights enemies so they're not killing you they're killing him so you know it, it's very very useful companion moving on to the suppressor um the nano arm ability you ads faster and you also reduce cross air spread while moving so it's a decent uh, run and gun type companion um he patrols the target area when you deploy him and you can also lock on with long range shock blast projectiles quite a quite a strong class pretty much all of the companions are very very good so it doesn't really matter which one you go for they will be very very useful uh, moving on to the guardian uh, the guardian can transform itself into a shield to protect runners while he's on the nano arm he, he forms a shield around the runner while aiming if you guys ever played the uh, apex legends he's sort of like a like a gb you know when you ads you get a shield that enemies have to go through before they can damage uh, you or like your upper body i would say uh, it doesn't tank a lot, but it's uh, it's pretty decent. Why not, you know? Uh, it's alright. Uh, and then uh, deployment. Form one-sided shield at the target position. And uh, a lock-on performs a shield attack. So, there you go. Um, it's quite useful if you want to set up a position and you don't have any cover. He can create cover for you, which makes him uh, quite nice. Let's say if you want to play a sniper class or something like this, he can be very good. My personal favorite, however, is the Seer right here uh the seer he's got powerful sensors that can detect and track enemies 
so in obviously this game it's got a lot of foliage a lot of uh, cover a lot of people moving around and stuff you hear very uh, loud footsteps but a, a lot of the times you don't know where from Sia will really really help you with that he helps you track people really really well in in, in pvp um, i absolutely love him basically you deploy him and uh, he creates a decoy right and then wherever he ends up wherever you you have, you have decided to deploy him he will then start scanning the area around him and uh, with mods you can make it even a larger area and stuff like that it is extremely extremely useful uh, um, companion to help you track down your enemies so you can hunt them down swiftly right it also helps you if you're playing a sniper class and you know you set up in a good position like i'm actually going to show you in a, in a couple of clips later on how i was sniping people uh, with uh, seer how he highlights people all the time it's a little bit busted i think uh it might need a nerf for the full game but for now you guys can take uh, full advantage of that uh with seer very very powerful and his lock on is he fires a powerful laser beam at its target quite decent quite decent doing a lot of damage but yeah like i said i don't really use him for the damage i use him to just spot people so i can push them and kill them right that's it that's with uh, that is what the companions of the game offer for you right now all right so this section here is going to cover the loadout right we have a weapon we have uh, a primary weapon if you will we have a cider and we have a melee weapon you always start with these no matter if it's a pvp or pve match right the only difference between a pvp and a pve match is the mods okay the game is designed to be fair in pvp so what happens is in pve you can upgrade your mods to your heart's content and you can upgrade them and make them better and everything which in turn increases your character's power by a lot okay but in pvp we can't really have that because obviously people will be in different places of the game so you can't have it that one guy will have like crazy mods starting the game and somebody else will have not so good mods just beginning the game so you, you know what i'm saying it's just simply not fair so all the mods are normalized yes you do have mods that give you a slight edge but you can't upgrade them so what you see is what you get right so right here for example i have a mod that uh, when i knock or eliminate a runner i fully reload my weapon in pvp it's a absolutely amazing perk because i like to play close range i like to push people uh, sometimes i snipe regardless i get the full magazine uh reload it's very 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 useful i haven't unlocked a port 2 mod yet uh i'm guessing it's luck right uh port 3 sinking i just sink faster basically and i can't be interrupted it's just something that saves me time in the beginning of the game so i can get my companion faster and um, this one is uh, expand Seer's scanning radius because I play Seer. Obviously, uh, it doesn't say by how much, but I mean, yeah, you can you can change, um, and you can see extend suppressor range by fifty percent. Guardian shield is eight percent stronger. There's different things you can do. Crush attacks twenty percent faster. Quite decent mods that are gonna help you, but they're not like game changing. You know what I'm saying? In PvP, you mostly rely on uh, what kind of armor you have and, uh, and your weapons, their rarity, their mods, etc. You know? Um, okay, so this is the PvP mods. Of course, you, you pick your runner and as well as your companion, and that's how you start, right? And you still need to kill a monster and sink in PvP as well as in PvE in order to acquire your companion on, on your arm. Okay? And then the PvE mods, uh, here you can acquire your power. Of course, the more, the more PvE you do. I haven't really done a lot of PvE, guys. A majority of a, 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 a pvp player right so most of my stuff that i've done as you can see uh, up to 300 whatever power and it just keeps going up you can keep your mods and just keep upgrading them with uh higher power mods that you get so you, this is basically your build here right so look at this for example we have uh boost critical damage for five seconds after reloading very useful right more damage i pretty much stack damage 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 boost primary weapon damage for five seconds after critical hit very useful right recover some health um, after dealing a critical hit you see that so we have a bit of healing as well plus our character also heals right when you kill stuff boost primary weapon damage for 20 seconds after using your runner skill so you see this here is like your little individual build that you're going to set for yourself with whichever mods you like maybe you want some more survivability you want some more companion damage you want some more gun damage all of those things you can tweak at your heart's desire whatever you want also same as your runner same as your companion right and then of course we can get into the weapons now let me uh, very quickly show you what type of weapons we have here i've now unlocked all of them 
We have uh, assault rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns, SMGs and LMGs. At the time of recording this, I would not recommend you do... Okay, let me talk about PvP first, right? I would not recommend you using LMGs in PvP. They don't feel great. Um, I, maybe they'll get a buff later on, you know. SMGs are okay. Also a little bit underwhelming. Very limited range. But yeah, up close, they, they do slap, you know. Shotgun is very powerful up close. Of course, only up close though. Um, sniper rifles are pretty much meta in PvP right now. They're absolutely amazing. The bolt actions like the Dragoon Rifle and the WoW Factor are running rampant in PvP. They're absolutely amazing. Distant Relative and the Wyvern are more spammable, um, like Marksman Rifles, if you will, like DMRs, you know. Um, so WoW Factor and Dragoon, they're like a one-shot kill early game. Later on, when people have like full gold armors and stuff, I don't think it one-taps anymore, but it's, it's still really, really, really devastating, really powerful. But uh, yeah, so both actions, pretty much everybody starts with them and runs with them. Um, in my team, I'll have one or two snipers. And uh, I just like to run the assault rifle and I just push people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I will show you my setup and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's my assault rifle collection here. Uh, the future, the very first starting assault rifle is absolutely amazing. You can uh, look to upgrade that. It's very decent. Professional, it's a burst rifle um, AR. I do not like it. I, I found that it was very underwhelming. Terrible, terrible weapon in my opinion. Uh, the AK, the classic, absolutely amazing weapon. As you can see, level to level 18, I was using it a lot of times. It's an absolutely amazing gun. Space Cadet is like um, SMG type AR, right? Very close range, slow bullet velocity. But uh, up close, it absolutely melts people. It's got very high fire rate. So pretty decent, but I personally don't like it. Uh, right here is my favorite one, Old Reliable. I'm still busy leveling it. I'm gonna get it to max level probably today. Um, what I like about the Old Reliable is that it has so much mods, mod capacity, right? Let me quickly show you this. So much mod Dude, capacity. Toys. Look at this. You have uh, an array of attachments that fit your playstyle. Look at this. You see? So you can, you can change it and you can basically make it that it does zero recoil and you can just absolutely spam people. It's 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 a really, really spray them down, really beautiful weapon. As far as sidearms, I mean, that's sort of personal preference. I like the very first one. That's the one that I've been using um, and I don't mind it, you know. It's always it's always nice to have one. Melee weapon as well, personal choice. Uh, the katana does, I think, slightly uh, more damage, but attacks a bit slower. But I mean, you, you, have, you, have, such a, uh, you have such a big option like they have went out of their way to create melee weapons look at this there's so many of them uh, you can see their stats differ right some of them will attack faster but do less damage right and they'll do less or more damage to nanos for pv and stuff like that so i, I guess pick one that you like like look at this one for example the snake river slammer attacks extremely slow but like hits very hard right um there's axes there's all kinds of things i'm just a sucker for katanas i absolutely love katanas so that's what I went for. It looks beautiful on my back. I rarely use it, to be honest. If I want to use a, a secondary or something, I'll just pull up my pistol, you know what I mean? Or a secondary weapon or something. But yeah, quite decent. Those are the katanas, okay? Um, so yeah, that is my Adios. my current weapon choice. Alright, so upon finishing the tutorial and picking your class, picking your okay. runner, picking your companion, Picking your loadout, everything, you now want to get into game. Firstly, you should check out all of the vendors. They uh, actually have jobs, which will award you with quite a bit of XP. And uh, you can, you know, claim the finished ones. As you can see, you get mods from them. Can be quite, quite useful. For example, this one is actually very nice. Uh, that I just got, luckily. But yeah, you can have two jobs at a time. And... Um, Fantastic work out there. You can finish all of them, right? Until next those time. are not daily, those are just available. Once you finish them, you're done. You get the XP, you get mods, you get all kinds of goodies that will make you stronger. This is a season pass right here. As you can see, it gives you a lot of premium currency. So you'll be able to afford some uh, some cool skins. Right? You can check for yourself what you want to do here. But yeah, season pass is available in the beta. Um, so yeah, like I said, jobs from this lady. The, this guy is the one that you mod your gun by. Got he also right. gives you a whole bunch of uh, jobs as well. Firepower. As a matter of fact, I've uh, finished my two jobs already by him. You know you've got it in you. And look, I get another mod. 
Very, very useful mods. Keep your guard up. Fantastic. All right. Tell your friends. And also this lady right here right, gives you work. missions too. Another six. Are you considering anything in particular? My research is in good hands, I see. A job well done, as always. Right. So as you can see, we get a lot of cool mods that will aid us in our journey. Here's to all a right. productive day. And yeah, so all of these jobs, you pick up all the jobs from them and then you come that here to this lady, she also has jobs for you. For this is your today. dailies and weeklies by her though. So those reset uh, every day and those reset every week. And uh, yeah, you got uh, those to do as well. You can pick them, they're, they're always in progress. And yeah, just get on with that. You get a lot of XP, like I said, you get a lot of currency, a lot of mods. It's very, very nice uh, to do all of them. And then once you're ready, uh, you can then go to her and speak to her and you can decide if you want to do PvP or PvE. Uh, the PvE mode is Dead Sector Runs. Uh, is different sectors, different missions. As you can see, there's quite a few available in the beta. Uh, basically, this is a PvE only experience. And uh, every time you complete the sector, you get a reward. As you can see, there's some cool dank skins you can get. There's uh, weapon mods. There's all kinds of things. It's cosmetics you can get. So definitely uh, you, you want to do this, you know, recommended power, of course. And uh, yeah, so this is the, the sectors. This is the PvE only. There's no PvP here, right? And then we look at Nerva Run. Nerva Run is the PvE VP game mode. So what happens here, four teams of three players each are dropped um, into one map. And uh, you guys are going to compete for all the resources. And you're going to compete for surviving and winning the match. So the way that it works, I'm going to show you a match, of course, and you're going to see what it's all about. But um, it, it's, it can be either last team standing, so you can just murder everybody and win the game. Or you can win the game by just accumulating more points than the second and third and fourth team. Um, doing that, uh, you can uh, um, capture missions, you can get supply drops, you can uh, kill um, high-value target monsters, you can uh, capture harvesters that harvest the, the Nerva or whatever. So it's extremely uh, different ways to win, but a lot of the times it will just come down to you just out shooting the enemies and killing them and beating them. That's usually how I play, right? I like to be aggressive, I like to push. So that's me, okay. Uh, so those are the game modes that you need to know. All right, so I've told you guys everything you need to know about the game, the classes, the companions, the mods, the weapons, the customization, the battle pass, the game modes, the jobs. I've given you everything you need to know to get started with the game. Now, I want to get into my opinion. Okay. Firstly, um, if you want to compare this game to anything, I would say it's uh, very similar to the Scavengers game. It plays a lot like it. In the sense that you have uh, the freedom, once you jump into a match, you have the freedom to decide what you want to go for you want to just go for the mobs uh you want to go for kills you want to go and just collect and get stronger and then fight or you know one thing i myself didn't like personally about uh scavengers was the fact that uh, you had to uh a lot of times maybe even avoid pvp because it sort of was better to be able to extract with the pv components you needed and resources and stuff like that so that honestly and I, I got annoyed by that a lot and it's actually what's made me stop playing the game because i i wanted the thrill of pvp i wanted to engage with players and stuff like that you know and uh, th this game synced right it gives me that so i have really really been enjoying like i got super addicted very quick to the pvp it's uh it's actually very decent the moment you understand the flow of the battle and how you can just get a couple of things going and then, uh, you know, like get your sink and, uh, you know, get some basic armor and off you go. You can go and fight, maybe get a weapon or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I enjoyed that part. Like you can decide if you want to have a more chilled match and you want to just get a resources and then get stronger that way. Or you want to just get high kills, get the, the, the resources that your enemies have gathered for you, right? And then use that to make yourself stronger, right? There's a couple of ways to do the, all of this, you know what I'm saying? And I, I enjoy that freedom. I, I, I enjoy that you still get to fight 
PvP in the PvP game mode, right? Um, as far as the PvE game mode is concerned, I haven't done much, to be honest with you guys. I've just been mesmerized by the PvP. I've really been enjoying it. Um, so, I can't really talk a lot about the PvE. I've done, like, a little bit. And, um, look, it's not bad. I think it's fine. Um, I think this game really shines in the PvE VP mode, personally. Uh, from what I've seen in the PV PvE, it's all, all the same. You go into the map you clear some mobs eventually the boss appears you know you break some rifts the boss appears and you kill the boss and you're done right that's basically it like it's not bad but i myself don't find that challenging yes you're gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger the you're gonna get better and better mods better upgrades better weapons everything yes of course but so this is a nice progression system but i i don't think the game shines in the pve right that's just my that's of course my opinion right in the pvp it's where it absolutely shines uh you get the play interactions you get the pve as well uh you can kill the mobs but they're not like stupid strong you know they're just there to give you currency and feed into your uh power fantasy power creep fantasy right um so that's pretty cool you also level up insanely quick from pvp um I basically played the total of let's say 13 hours to get to level 50 which is the max level of the beta and um, yeah I did it in one day I streamed it yesterday on Twitch and um, it was it was it was a great experience right so the game is uh, definitely it's got a grind component to it like let's be honest you gotta grind your weapons out that you like it's not very difficult but it, it will take you some time to grind your weapons to get the mods that you want to make your weapons when you start with them uh, better already you know um so yeah this is uh basically my opinion on the game i like it a lot it's got a lot of opportunity it's got a lot of uh it, it can be amazing I, I really just hope it doesn't die it's, uh, like scavengers to my knowledge i heard that they're closing it down now so that's pretty sad i i, I never want to see them close down games but i think this game can do better in the sense that you actually get more pvp fights in the pvp mode right and people are not just ducking to save their components for pvp right uh, for pv uh, oh sorry for pro progressing your character right the progression happens regardless and like i said you get a lot of xp for pvp so even if you lose you still get a lot more right so yeah i think the game's got a lot of potential i think it's a it's it's got the opportunity to become something special and I hope it does, guys. I'll be I'll be covering it. Um, I'm probably gonna get a couple of videos um, out. I wanna, you know, tell you guys about weapons and modding a bit more in depth and PvP and mods and stuff like that. More more in depth discussion about my strategy, also how to win games in PvP and stuff like that. I think that will be some uh, some interesting videos there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. I really do. Um, it took me a very, very long time to make it. So if, if you guys really, if you made it this far, right, and you, you know, you, you, you liked, enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, please drop a like, subscribe, share it with your grandmother, please, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a fantastic day. God like, out.